if there is something in your life and we acknowledge as we see you we know you are doing extremely well you are living good lives comparatively speaking as you look around other humans you're doing fine but comparatively speaking with what you could be doing you are living medi mediocrity compared to what you could be doing you are scantily beginning to discover the excellence that this time space reality holds for you you've not even begun to tap in to the vibrational escrow that you have personally amassed here in this physical life experience you've not begun to live what you can live only because you do more observing about what is than you do thinking about where you're going as you begin to train your mind to focus upon things you want rather than things you've got as you begin to care so much about how you feel that you guide your thoughts based upon their feeling quality rather than upon their factual quality as you care about how you feel rather than wanting to express the truth of a thing there are a lot of things that are true that you don't want and yet you feel virtuous because you express the truth and we say if you keep beating the drum of things that are true that you don't want you keep creating more things that you don't want that are true in other words law of attraction does not discriminate and that's the wonderful thing about law of attraction it allows you your freedom to choose you are so free you can choose bondage you see and so as you begin to understand that this powerful law of attraction is always consistent and you begin to watch its evidence in your experience when something happens that is wonderful acknowledge that as it happens it feels like this and leading up to it you felt the same and then announce to yourself and anybody else who is listening and interested I did that when something that you really do not want happens in your experience and you feel the manifestation of it you feel how it feels and then you feel for other things you've been thinking that felt like that announce to yourself and anybody else who is listening and interested I did that and as you begin to show yourself that you have control over what manifests because you recognize the thoughts that led up to it yesterday someone said but what about those things that come out of the blue and we say nothing comes out of the blue it comes out of the oblivious <laughs> in other words nothing comes out of the blue if you are aware of the way you feel and you can start right now the next thing that happens that is big in nature that feels really good or really bad settle into it and say oh I can really feel this and then reach for recent thoughts that evoke that same feeling and say to yourself I saw this coming I saw it coming I sensed it coming I felt it coming I knew it was coming expectancy is about being aware that this behavior brings forth this experience and we want you to begin to expect the manifestations that come from the patterns of thought because that's how all things are created do you know that before there is anything before there is what you call manifestation there is strong long steady thought consistent thought about it so to be the creator of your reality which you are to be the deliberate creator of your reality which you want to be to be the deliberate creator of your reality you want to direct your thoughts well most everybody says sounds good to me I'm ready to go but we want you to know that you need a way to quantify your journey when you are directing your thoughts you have to know what is the direction that is leading you toward what you want and what is the direction that is leading you toward what you don't want and when you listen to the others around you have you ever had a decision to make and so you decided you would poll the people that are close to you and every one of them gave you a different answer this one said do it this one said don't do it this one said do it but do it this way this one said do it but do it this way this one said don't do it and don't do it ever and this one said don't do it but maybe do it later and they drive you out of your mind because they can't possibly give you guidance that is good for you they can only give you guidance about you that is good for them because everyone must factor in how this fits into their life experience everyone is selfishly oriented you cannot help but see through the eyes of self 
when you go to the car dealer and you say to him, which do you think is the best car for me? He will tell you which is the best car for him to sell to you. He doesn't have the ability to factor in all of the things that you've been living that have made you know specifically what you want. If you leave it to him, he'll sell you what works best for him every single time. When you go to the doctor or the dentist or to anyone who has something that they are offering to you, they cannot help but factor in their relationship with you as they are counseling you. And that is not a bad thing at all. And we certainly do not mean that they are not well-meaning in in their effort to assist you. What we are saying is every time you interact with someone else, you get all kinds of vibrational interference is really the best word because no one can guide you accurately. And when you ask them to, and even when they do their very best to guide you, and it turns out, however it turns out, you almost always end up resenting whatever it was they told you. Because if you're not a vibrational match to what you've been asking for, it can't come. And it doesn't matter how precisely you tried to follow anybody else's advice. You cannot quantify your journey and you cannot get from where you are to where you want to be by asking anyone outside of you what is the proper path. Religion cannot give it to you. Politics cannot give it to you. Your mother cannot give it to you. And your teacher cannot give it to you. No one can give you accurate guidance. But no one needs to because you've got built in guidance and the guidance works like this you come forth from non-physical but you don't all come forth from non-physical the larger part of you the eternal part of you the source energy part of you the God force part of you remains non-physically focused do you understand that in other words Many people think that they are dead or alive, which means their soul is in heaven or it is here with them. Many people think that it is one way or the other. And we are wanting you to understand. It's like when you plug your toaster into the electricity that comes through your wall. You don't ask the electricity to come and be the toaster. You're happy that the electricity remains the electricity and that it powers your appliances. You understand the difference between the source of the energy and the toaster. And so we're not wanting to be disrespectful, but you are the toaster. You are the extension of source energy, but the electricity, the source will always remain non-physically flowing to you. So this source energy is always there flowing to you. And as you are here in your physical experience, life is causing you to have a constant expansion of personal desires. And we cannot emphasize accurately or enough the power and importance of the personal part of your desires. You are uniquely perfect. You are personally perfect. You are uniquely asking and source is delighted to respond to your unique requests that are born out of your unique life experience and perspective. Every single one of you is unique and appreciated. So you live life, whatever it is, and out of it, you ask for those unique things. Now, many of you say, all the things I'm asking for are not that unique. And we say, yes, they are. The combination of the life you live and the rockets of desires that shoot out of you and the vibrational escrow that is amassing on your behalf because of all that you've lived before and what you're living now is a unique part of the expanding universe. And every bit of it is a value. So you are uniquely asking and your source energy is now standing in vibrational alignment with what you have asked for because when you are having exposure to an experience and you know what you don't want source energy does not turn its attention to what you do not want but in the moment that what is wanted is born out of that source energy gives that its undivided attention and that's why the expansion of the universe and the evolution of all species is so assured do you sort of get how that works in other words every part particle of consciousness even the one celled amoeba or organism is having its pers perspective its exposure to its experience and as it is having its exposure to its experience it is giving birth to improved preferences and so because source energy turns its undivided attention then to what is being asked for 
then you in your human form have done what you said you would do you've come forth like pioneers and you've carved out something that would be even better and the larger part of the source energy turns its undivided attention to that improvement and the expanded universe moves on that's why no matter what Al Gore says about global warming and no matter what anybody else is saying about what's going on as they look at a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket here of things that are not to their liking in the moment no matter what any of them say from their very narrow human close-up perspective of what's going on here on this planet because when something that you see that you do not like causes you to launch a rocket of desire and because source energy the energy that creates worlds turns its undivided attention to what you are now asking for you have to know that even as you're beating the drum and fearing global warming that you're asking for improvement and source is flowing with the improvement so life must continue to get better on this planet do you know that it is at the best it has ever been and improving how you look at what is now out on the leading edge and call it declining when it is expanding and improving can only be because you're looking through the narrow eyes of human perspective that are in this moment beating the drum of lack in some way and you've disconnected yourself from the view of broader perspective you are magnificent beings and we love you very much and what you add to the evolution of all that is is enormous but you have not yet from your human perspective figured out how to scrape enough dirt together to launch another earth into orbit you don't know what you're doing relative to things that are world nature global warming is not a factor that need concern you this earth is expanding and involving and improving it is not shrinking and disintegrating and declining it is not life is eternal and your balanced earth is in good stead worry not about it but But it's not wrong for you to explore your earth and see things that are of concern to you. That's what you said you would do. So you see something that is of concern to you, immediately you ask for an improvement. And immediately the rocket of desire shoots out of you and source energy is on the case. But when you watch global warming, when you beat the drum of it, you hold yourself with millions of others in vibrational difference or resistance to the improvement that you've asked for. So then you have to croak before you let your planet receive the benefit that you have asked for. And it does not need to be that way. In other words, you don't have to wait until the next generation in order to reap the benefit of what this generation is asking for. You can have it right here and now. In fact, you don't even have to wait for anybody else to figure it out. You can have it right now and you can tell by the way you feel whether you're having it right now or not. So now we've come down to a very big topic and it's a topic that a lot of people would disagree with and we certainly understand where they would be coming from. So you look into the world and maybe you even watch that whole movie about global warming. And as you watch it and you see pictures of things that you don't want to happen to your planet happening or you see speculation of what's going to happen further and you feel that horrible feeling within you that always happens when you look at the opposite of what you want. So you feel that horrible, horrible feeling and then you say, but there are things in that movie that are true. And we say, you got to ask yourself and now is a good a time as any. Am I going to guide my experience by looking at what is because it's true and therefore create more of it? Because law of attraction will give me what I give my attention to. Or am I going to ride the rocket of desire that has been born out of it? Am I going to think about what I want? Am I going to let the way I feel be my criteria for the direction of my thought or whether something is true? Now. We must put this in because we felt it flare up as we said what we said just now. Every person on the planet could read the pamphlet on global warming and could come to a place of devastated fear. And in doing so, you would launch rockets of desire about what you want and your world would improve because of your awareness of what you don't want, which helps you to be more aware of what you do want. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next videos.